NAC 2. The f are you talking about NAC 2? I don't play that bullshit. NAC ain't no damn platformer. It's a damn action game. It's like people think just because they're colorful characters or something in the damn game that makes it a platformer. This dumb shit. Oh, sh the camera's rolling. Hey fools, Mr. T here. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? Oh my goodness, it's good to see y'all again. Yeah, uh, you know, I was, you know, enjoying my, my little vacation here. I hope you fools enjoyed your vacation too. I had a great time, you know, uh, you know, vacation as far as uh, the holidays and stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed your Christmas and your, and your New Year's Day. Uh, Merry New Year! Happy New Year. In this country, we say Happy New Year. Ha 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 Mrs. T had a few too many drinks and uh, had a little bit of a hangover, but I'm good now. <laughs> you know, I had to get my drink on. It's, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, uh, yeah, what you fools been up to? <laughs> well, me, you know, it's, I just want to been reflecting, you know, on the past year and how amazing, amazing, fools, how amazing that uh, Nintendo did last year in 2017. And uh, it's really weird to say last year, 2017. You know, it's always really uh, strange getting used to the new year, especially when it's so early in the new year. <laughs> yeah, we're in 2018 now, fool. So, you know, this is this is how uh, this is time to you know look back and reflect on uh, the past year. And uh, you know, mostly I'm gonna focus on Nintendo because uh, Nintendo is where my heart is. <laughs> Home is where the heart is. Da 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 da. I don't know that song. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So I just want to reflect on the past year and talk about some games uh, uh, that came out that I was very excited about and. Uh, uh, really enjoyed and uh, you know just kind of give my top pick of the year yeah I'm just gonna get my pick of the year if you don't know I've been a long time member of the juices loose uh, there's a podcast we do every week on terminated juices channel so uh, I'm gonna get more in depth in there we have a nice little setup to talk about our top uh, games of the year so make sure you tune into that on uh, I believe it's gonna be Monday night uh, we, lose, we usually start around 7 o'clock 7 p.m. Eastern time so make sure you check us out live and if not just catch us later you know drop a comment like and subscribe all that good stuff so uh, I'm gonna get more in depth on that and uh, and this in this uh, video I'm just gonna talk about my top game uh, uh, my top pick of the year which wasn't an easy thing for me to pick so well anyway you know uh, you know it was a great year for Nintendo starting with the January uh, uh, event basically uh, the the reveal of the, the switch you know the full reveal obviously we got that thing back in October that little commercial which was pretty cool the little trailer uh, and, uh, you know, they finally, uh, opened up and really showed us what the Switch was all about in the, uh, January media event in, uh, Japan, so, uh, that was cool, and, uh, we got to see, you know, uh, basically what Nintendo was expecting with the Switch, and, uh, you know, it was still, you know, kind of, we didn't really know where it was going at, at that point, you know, we got some game announcements, we got, you know, Travis Strikes Again, I believe it's called, with, uh, No More Heroes, uh, Travis Touchdown coming back, uh, so that's still to be, uh, to see to be seen what's going to happen with that game and uh you know just you know we got you know basically a kind of a launch window lineup obviously we got the greatness that is uh the legend of zelda uh, breath of the wild which was an amazing game game changer uh ended up winning game of the year and at many publications and obviously at the game awards show so that was pretty cool uh obviously i'm a huge fan of that game i'm 200 hours in i still haven't gotten all the shrines i think i got 105 shrines right now i've been messing around in the dlc so you know I'm, I'm enjoying it i'm actually looking forward to just uh beating the dlc and getting the uh master cycle and then being able to find the shrines riding my master cycle around hyrule because you know if you get that too late it's not as fun you know so i want to still have stuff to do when i get my master cycle so that's my plan you know i still have around 15 uh 15 to 12 shrines left once I get my master cycle so that's gonna be fun to be able to drive around uh, Hyrule with that so yeah but you know it was like uh, the, the, the switch came out you know just flying out the gate and it was a great thing to see uh, we, we did, like I always expected the switch to be to do well and all that and you know there was a lot of people that were skeptical and uh, you can say I wasn't skeptical a lot of people will just say I wasn't skeptical because I'm just a Nintendo fanboy so anything Nintendo puts out I'm just gonna think it's gonna do gangbusters and do crazy but that's not really the case um, and the, you know I can't really prove it uh, because I didn't have a YouTube channel at the, at this point and uh, 
the other time I, that YouTube didn't exist. So I want to talk about that. Uh, basically, when I knew, or at least when I felt that the uh, the Nintendo console coming out wasn't going to do that great in the public size and whatnot. And uh, uh, the, uh, the last one was uh, uh, I, I didn't have total confidence in the Wii U, you know. Uh, it was just kind of a weird uh, situation at E3. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, actually the E3 right before it was just like, mm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for, you know, to finally have Nintendo games in HD. But I haven't really been sold, uh, at least this far on the gamepad and uh, the, the, you know, the whatever, you know, what it's going to do. Uh, if it's going to latch on the fans, the fans going to latch on to it. And I never, uh, I was never initially sold on that. I ended up loving the gamepad, obviously. But, you know, me being, I was a little pet tepid about uh, how the Switch was going to do, I w or a Switch, <laughs> how the Wii U was going to do, I wasn't really sure, and uh, obviously it went on to not do very well, um, sold, uh, what, 13.85 million or something consoles at this point, uh, so just under 14 million, something like that, might be over 14 now, but last time we checked it was somewhere around there, 13.6 or 13.8, one of those two, I don't remember, but, you know, like, I, I, I wasn't fully confident in that console, and the last Nintendo console I wasn't confident after the reveal, uh, believe it or not, was the GameCube, uh, you may <laughs> already know that, but, uh, yeah, like I said, there's no way for me to prove any of these things, um, but the GameCube, uh, I remember, I was, I remember, uh, very, uh, specifically, uh, what I was doing during the GameCube reveal. Basically, uh, the internet is nowhere near what it is now, so, uh, I was sitting on, uh, a web page, basically, uh, uh, I can't remember, it was one news site that was given, basically, minute-to-minute -minute play play-by-play of, uh, Nintendo Space World. The Nintendo Space World was, uh, Nintendo's event, I believe it was every September, um, they stopped doing it, I think, uh, during the after the GameCube's reveal. They had that event, and they were, you know, basically revealing it uh, real time. And obviously, we didn't have video back then because uh, bandwidth just was not going to allow video uh, to be streamed. So, you know, I was just refreshing my page and seeing updates about uh, the the GameCube, and I just remember, you know, they were showing games. They showed a controller, which I thought mm, that looks kind of strange. Um, and then they showed the console itself, and I was like, uh, I remember my exact words at the time. Uh, believe it or not, it was like, uh, I don't think this is gonna do well. That's, I said that to myself. I remember because I was on my way to work, and I was actually late to work that day because I was sitting there, you know, refreshing the page, trying to get the the up to date stuff on the uh, on the GameCube. And uh, I remember just, oh man, that, that was my last words before walking out the door, rushing out to work. Because I was definitely about 35 minutes late at that time. And uh, so I was just, I, I remember it vividly, me saying, oh man, this is not going to do well. I don't think this is going to do well. And it didn't resonate. And uh, I was, you know, uh, not to say I'm Negro Domus or anything, but I, uh, I was right about the GameCube. It didn't quite resonate with, uh, you know, uh, a bigger audience. I think it sold around 20 2 million, 23 million or something units or something like that and uh, didn't, uh, you know, well I had a lot of great games, I'm not saying anything about the games on it uh, but I, I just felt that it wasn't going to be uh, a huge success and uh, I was right about that and uh, like I said I wasn't sure about the Wii U even though I love it, it was one of my favorite consoles of all time I was uh, it felt a little uneven about the uh, the reveal of it and, uh, and I just didn't, I wasn't sure about it but um Ultimately, ended up loving it, but again, it did, it wasn't a commercial success. And then uh, here we come to the Switch, and I felt right away that this thing was going to do gangbusters. Obviously, one reason is that you know it was a hybrid console. It was a Nintendo handheld, which Nintendo handhelds have always done well, even when they haven't. Uh, the 3DS was probably uh, the weakest uh, Nintendo handhelds, basically. Uh, you know, when it first started until now, it's obviously uh, approaching uh, I think Game Boy Advance numbers, which is great. But, uh, you know, it had a slow start. and uh, But anyway, uh, what I'm saying is that Nintendo handhelds always do well, regardless um, if they do as well as the last one or not. But So I knew that was a big thing. I knew Japan was going to eat this thing up because Japan is all about their on-the-go gaming. So I knew it was going to do well. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say I knew it was going to be uh, as big as it is, but I, I think my prediction for the first year was $8 million. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think we did a Juice Loop podcast again. We did a podcast thinking about uh, what we think, what we thought uh, the Switch was selling the first year. I think mine was around eight million, maybe seven to eight million, and obviously it went through that. 
uh, because it hasn't the first year technically isn't over yet isn't it over until march 3rd so uh but we were talking about you know basically this calendar or last calendar year 2017 and uh you know it didn't it uh it blew that away um people some people are estimating 14 million right now uh here is uh what is it january 2nd or 3rd um so that is phenomenal and uh you know obviously uh it came out with the greatest um uh, the greatest launch title of all time which is uh zelda breath of the wild hands down uh best uh, launch title of all time and i'm and i'm saying it's even knocking off uh mario 64 and uh, uh so you know it, it, in, in streaming games you know we had uh mario kart 8 deluxe uh which was a great addition um and uh you know i, I went out and bought it i wasn't initially too you know because there was a lot of rumors about uh, uh wii u ports coming to the switch and that's all we heard about so i wasn't too uh keen on that and uh i i didn't want the switch to lead with wii u ports and uh that's you know that was my main gripe but obviously it didn't do that um and uh uh the, the big thing about mario kart 8 deluxe is that it had what i always wanted what i was crying for years about from uh for the for the wii u version was uh, a a proper battle mode and boy we got that and i really love the battle mode in this game that's mostly what i played uh in my 20 what am i 30 hours of, of i played in the game so far um i've mostly been online battle mode which is uh it's pretty cool and uh splatoon 2 we got splatoon 2 a huge hit in Japan, Splatoon was, and uh, same thing with Splatoon 2. I love the game. Uh, I haven't played it as much as I'd love to. Want to get back into it. There's a lot of updates, uh, free updates, uh, a lot of cool things added to the game. It's almost a whole new game now. So, uh, you know, that was great. And, uh, you know, it's just great. It was just a great year. And then you had third party games that were surprised. We knew Skyrim was coming, basically. Um, I had actually predicted uh, around the January event that uh, we were going to get a, a port of Doom. I also predicted or thought that we get a port of Resident Evil 7, but that hasn't happened. So, again, I'm not Negro Domus. I'm, I'm just doing some deductive reasoning, you know. I just, I knew that the engine that Doom was, uh, I can't think of it right now. The engine that Doom uh, was, was made with was uh, supported for the Switch. So I just said, hmm, that would be a, a good addition. It makes sense for a game like Doom uh, to end up on Switch. And I just, I felt like the, the Switch was powerful enough to run most modern games at the time. And, uh, you know, obviously there would be some concessions, but a, a thing had to sell. And as long as it sold, we were going to get some cool, uh, you know, ports and, you know, get some third-party support. And we've been getting that. Obviously, it's not on par uh, with all the other consoles yet. But I think, uh, in, in, you know, deep into its second year, it'll get pretty close to that. I think it'll probably end up getting pretty close to what GameCube got, you know. Um, I also did a video about that. Do we think the the, the third party situation would be closer to Wii or GameCube? I think I ended up on Wii, but uh, it looks it might end up closer to GameCube, maybe somewhere in there. So it's very exciting, you know. So you know, it's just been a great year for Nintendo. They obviously did a total 180. Uh, 2016 was not a good year. It was a transition year, which I understand. And uh, you know, there's a lot of transitions. There were some good games that came out on Wii U early on, but it was pretty much dead by the summer after. Uh, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions uh, came out and it was just like and uh, poor of that game that game did not do well uh, because people had pretty much moved on from Wii U at that point and uh, the game just didn't have any didn't have an audience and uh, I hope that game comes to to switch at some point but anyway just a great year you know we had you know uh, games just kept coming out yeah. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle uh, was a huge surprise to me. I was not looking forward to that game once the people were speculating on it. And uh, when it was finally showed off, I was like, oh, that looks cool. And man, do I love that game. It was my sleeper hit of the year. If you want to know, that was one of my favorite games of the year, Mario Plus Rabbids. I love it. Uh, still enjoy it. Um, going back and just being able to do matches and stuff, doing the little arenas. I love it. The game is set up great. And uh, had a, I got a great time with that game. And uh, just Nintendo just kept flowing with the games, and it was just very different Nintendo in 2017 that we had seen over the past, you know, four to five years. So it was just a great thing to see, and uh, it was a great year. And so now I just want to come to which is my top game of the year. This was a hard pick. I went back and forth and forth and back, and uh, you know, Zelda is the easy decision, but I think the game that just impacted me. Uh, the most emotionally was Super Mario Odyssey. That is my game of the year. Um, just a spoiler for the Juices Loop podcast, but you know we'll have we'll talk about other games as well. 
but that uh, that was my top game of 2017 i just really enjoyed that game that game just hit me on a emotional level you all know that the n64 is my favorite console of all time and Mar uh, mario super mario odyssey just took me right back to super mario 64 playing that for the first time i didn't think that was possible because of the impact of 3d gaming at the time and i was just like wow this is just crazy how this happened and i'm just it's just amazing you know it was, it was an amazing game uh you know that festival in new donk city the it was just I, I was literally I had tears rolling down my eyes it was just beautiful greatness and uh i really enjoyed it and uh you know it was just a great experience and it was a, a great way to cap off the year if you want to say that because xenoblade chronicles 2 came out after that and boy um, i'm really enjoying that game too i haven't had enough time in it i'm about 20 hours in haven't really gotten into that game yet because i've still been playing like i said the uh the hell the dlc but it's just crazy fools uh you know, it's just, it's just been an amazing year. Uh, kudos to Nintendo. Um, I'm, my Nintendo fandom has just skyrocketed even more. And, like, I've always been a fan. So it's just been a, a great, a bigger year, an awesome year to be a fan of Nintendo. And I'm looking forward to 2018. And uh, you can look forward to my video speculating on what's coming and whatnot, uh, you know, in a couple of days whenever I put that video up. So make sure you check that out. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share my videos, fool, because I'm, I'm trying to do some bigger things in 2018. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's it, fools. Uh, as you know, I want to thank you fools always, uh, all my Patreon supporters. Thank you for uh, joining the Patreon. Hope you, I uh, hope uh, uh, more subscribers uh, uh, of the show will decide to go ahead and jump on that Patreon. And, uh, you know, I, I want to do, like I said, I want to do big things. And, you know, uh, Patreon support will help me do those bigger things. So, fools. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Thank you fools again for uh, watching and listening and subscribing to fools and staying with me a lot of you fools have been with me since the beginning and i really appreciate that uh some of you guys out there i love your comments and uh yeah just keep doing your thing and i'll keep doing my fools uh thank you for watching and listening as always and now see you fools next time peace out nintendo man oh my gosh oh my god nintendo doing their thing fools oh my god what a great year 2017 <laughs>